What's up guys, Swift C here, and today I've got another tutorial on um, episode 4 of my series Rose Bean Editor. And in this episode I'm going to show you how guys how to make screen flashes and screen pumps. So before we get started again, um, I've got someone in the call. I've got Rome Toma um, to say hi. What's up guys? Um, I don't know. Alright, so I'll just show you guys a preview of this effect, so here it is. That was it there, you got screen pump and then screen flash and so on. Start off, you'll make a new composition. I'm going to call it a tutorial. I'll drag in my song and drag in my clip. I want to click LL on my song, bring up the waveform. You can see, let's zoom, in, let's zoom in a little bit. You can see there's beats here. So I want to sync those beats with the song, so I want to drag that closer. Now what I want to do is I want to go on the first beat, which is right here. I want to click Shift 1 on my keyboard, or you can drag here, the new marker, to drag it across to where you want. And another beat here, I want to go Shift 2. Here, shift three, shift four, shift five, and shift six. So we got the markers. We've got six markers on the beats until the clip ends. Now, what I want to do is I want to click S on my clip to bring up the scale. I want to go to the first marker. I want to go back one frame, I want to keyframe it at 100 go forward one frame and click make it 10, make it 110 then I want to go halfway between the first marker and second marker, so about here make it 100 and the second marker, fourth marker and sixth marker will be this green flash, so I'm not going to do a scale beat there because I want to keep that for the flash. So now what I want to do, I just want to highlight those keyframes on the first marker. Control C and Control V on the third marker. I want to line it up so then the the scale scales up on the beat right there. Now I want to go to the fifth marker. Control V, zoom it in and bring it back. So that's the scale done. It says Ramp previous to see how it looks. Alright, that's it, that's pretty nice. What I want to do is right click on the project area, go to new, go to solid. And this part you can change the color. So if I want a white screen flash, white, red, blue, whatever you want, I'm gonna keep it black. Click OK, and I want to go to the second marker. Click T on the black solid. Go back one frame, make it zero, and keyframe it. Forward one frame, and make it 100. And then go about the same distance as the scale. So I'm gonna go about here, and then make it zero. So again, control C, go to the fourth marker, control V, line it up, six one and control V, line it up, Grand preview again. So that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed and learnt something on this tutorial, um, leave a like and comment on this episode, um, so I'll see you guys later, peace.